Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix this unhandled exception access violation error. So if you're receiving this error with the game, then please follow the steps shown in this video. Now the first step is to rename or delete this file that is slpcl.dll file. Now for this, uh, make a right click on the game, manage browse local files. Now open the engine folder and then plugins, marketplace, NVIDIA, DLSS, streamline, binaries third party win64 over here you can see sl.pcl.dll file copy this first of all create a backup so you can create a backup now once you have a backup now you can rename it or you can simply delete it so dot old you can rename it or you can even delete it you already have a backup if you face any problem you can put the original file back so rename it or delete it and then launch the game and then check this has worked for many players now if you have the game on xbox app or microsoft store in that case you can just make a right click on the game over here go to manage and then go to files and then click on browse option over here now open the game folder content now open the engine folder plugins marketplace nvidia dlss streamline binaries third party win64 do the same thing you can create a backup first copy this create a backup and then you can rename it or you can even delete it and then you can launch the game and then check now the next step is to allow the game exe file to antivirus program so if you have any third party antivirus like a vast not on bit defender mcafee whichever antivirus program you have allow the game exe file to antivirus program now if you're using windows security then open windows settings go to privacy and security click on windows security and then click on virus and threat protection and then go to protection history and over here you will see a lot of uh, blocked file now over here the latest one i have over here and this is related to the game click on yes to allow click on this down arrow and over here you can see this, the game so you can just click on actions and then click on allow on device so similarly if you have exe file the game exe file blocked over here you can just action allow it so allow the game over here and then go to virus and threat protection once again and then scroll down at the bottom you will see manage ransomware protection click on it now click on allow an app through control folder access click on yes to allow and then click on add an allowed app click on browse all apps go to the game installation folder so if the game is installed in c drive in my case this is the location so you can open the game folder and then select this exe file click on open again click on add and allow app browser apps and then open this folder binaries win64 select this exe file and then click on open and now type in control panel in windows search box and then go to control panel system and security windows defender firewall click on allow an app or feature through windows defender firewall click on change settings at the top click on allow another app click on browse and again open the game folder select this exe file click on open click on add in my case it is already added again click on allow another app click on browse and then open this folder binaries win64 select this exe file click on open click on add once the game is added over here now you can launch the game and then check now the next step is to try different power plans so you can open control panel in type in control panel in windows search box and then go to hardware and sound and then go to power options now over here if you see balanced option you can select balance if you see high performance over here so you might see high performance so select high performance and then check if that does not work you can even try power saver so first of all try power saver and then launch the game and then check if that does not work you can even try balance then you can even try high performance and check which one is working fine for you now the next step is to if you're using intel extreme tuning utility software then you can launch this now once you launch intel extreme tuning utility software now you can lower down performance score ratio to maybe 56 or 55x and then apply the settings and then you can launch the game and then check next step is to run the game from the game installation folder so instead of launching the game from steam you can make a right click the game manage browse local files and then you can just make a double click over here launch the game from here if that does not work open this folder binaries win64 and then you can launch this 
so just make a double click launch the game and then check if that does not work you can go to properties go to this tab put a check on the box which says run this program as an administrator hit apply click on ok launch the game and then check if that does not work you can even try windows 8 over here if that does not work you can even try windows 7 hit apply click on apply and then check you can even try disable full screen optimization hit apply click on ok and then check so when you put a check on all these boxes still not working in that case you can uncheck these boxes hit apply click on ok follow the next step now the next step is to verify the game files so make a right click on the game select properties go to install files tab and then click on verify integrative game files once the verification is 100 percent complete launch the game and then check still not working do not overclock if you have overclocked your computer set it to default once you set it to default now close all the overclocking application like if you have msi afterburner reward tuner or any kind of overclocking application running close it and then launch the game next step is to perform a clean installation of your graphics driver so if you have nvidia card go to nvidia website if you have amd card go to amd website i'm showing for nvidia so to perform a clean installation go to nvidia website and then select your graphic card from the list make sure that you select your graphic card and then select the right operating system so if you have windows 11 select windows 11 if you have windows 10 select windows 10 and then click on find and once you click on find you will see this page now here you will find the latest ge force game ready driver now click on view and then once you click on view you will see the download option click on download and let the download complete now once the download is complete run the exe file now once you run the exe file you will see this screen click on agree and continue and then select custom option over here by default express would be selected select custom and then click on next and then you will see this screen now put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation make sure you put a check on perform a clean installation and then click on next and let the installation complete once the installation is complete restart your computer and after the system restart launch the game so to increase the virtual memory type in view advanced system settings in window search box and then click on view advanced system settings and then click on the first settings and then go to advanced tab and then click on change over here and then select the drive so uncheck the box which says automatically manage paging file size for all drives uncheck this box and select the drive where the game is installed so select the drive and then once you select the right drive now put a check on custom size and for initial size it's 1.5 into total ram so you can check the total ram in windows settings you can go to system and then go to about and total ram in my case is 16 gigabyte so you can calculate accordingly in my case is 16 gb so i will calculate as per 16 gb so and first of all we have to convert 16 gb into megabyte so we will open calculator so type in calculator in run box and then click on ok and over here uh, it's 16 1.5 into total ram total ram in my case it's 16 ram 16 gb so 1 16 into 1024 1024 is actually 1 gb is equal to 1024 megabyte so 16 gb in megabyte will be 16384 into 1.5 1.5 into total ram this is my total ram in megabyte now 1.5 into total ram total ram that is into 1.5 so in my case initial size is 24576 24576 and maximum size is 3 into total ram now total ram in my case that is 16 gigabyte I have 16 gigabyte of RAM so 16 into 1024 I have converted this in megabyte megabyte now that is 3 into total RAM so total RAM is this much into 3 that is 49152 49152 4915152 one now click on set over here then click on ok ok apply ok ok 
Now restart computer. Make sure that you restart your computer after this. MD card users, first of all, uninstall the current graphic card driver, restart your computer, go to MD website and then select your graphic card, install the latest graphic card driver and then you can check. Still not working. In that case, you can even roll back graphics card driver. For, for many players, rolling back has worked. So you can go to NVIDIA website. I'm showing for NVIDIA. Select your graphic card, select your operating system, go click on find. And then on this page, click on view more version. And over here, latest one is 576.02. And uh, for many user, installing this 572.83 has worked. So you can even try this. And for me, this has worked 572.70. So you can try to roll back graphics card driver and then restart your computer. But when you install it, make sure that you put a check on the box which says, Perform a clean installation, then restart your computer and then check. Also run the game on dedicated graphic card. So type in graphics settings in Windows search box and then go to graphics settings and then click on add desktop app and then go to the game installation folder, open the game folder, select the game exe file, click on add. Now once the game is added, once the game is added, click on the game and then select high performance. You will see your graphic card over here. Again, click on add desktop app, open this folder binaries win64 this is important so select this exe file once the game is added now you can scroll down and find the game in the list now once you find the game click on the game and then select high performance you will see your graphic card now launch the game and then check still not working the last step uh, next step is to increase the virtual memory so to increase the virtual memory, type in view advanced system settings in window search box and then click on view advanced system settings and then click on the first settings and then go to advanced tab and then click on change over here and then select the drive. So uncheck the box which says automatically manage paging file size for all drives. Uncheck this box and select the drive where the game is installed. So select the drive and then once you select the right drive, now put a check on custom size and for initial size, it's 1.5 into total RAM. So you can check the total RAM in Windows settings. You can go to system and then go to about and total RAM in my case is 16 gigabyte. So you can calculate accordingly. In my case is 16 GB. So I will calculate as per 16 GB. So and first of all, we have to convert 16 GB into megabyte. So we will open calculator. So type in calculator in run box and then click on OK. And over here, uh, it's 16, 1.5 into total RAM. Total RAM in my case, it's 16 RAM, 16 GB. So one, 16 into 1024 1024 is actually 1 GB is equal to 1024 megabyte so 16 GB in megabyte will be 16384 into 1.5 1 1.5 into total RAM this is my total RAM in megabyte now 1.5 into total RAM total RAM that is into 1.5 so in my case initial size is 24576 Two four five seven six, and maximum size is three into total RAM. Now total RAM in my case that is sixteen gigabyte. I have sixteen gigabyte of RAM, so sixteen into one zero two four. I have converted this in megabyte. Megabyte now that is three into total RAM. So total RAM is this much into three. That is. 49152 49152 49152 now click on set over here then click on ok ok apply ok ok now restart computer make sure that you restart your computer after this now the next step is to update the BIOS. 
So go to your system manufacturer website, select your model number, and then update your BIOS. In case of laptop, make sure battery is more than 10% and the AC adapter is connected to the computer. And during the BIOS update, your system will restart. Do not unplug the power cable when it's updating the system BIOS. After the BIOS update, launch the game and then check. Still not working, in that case, you can uninstall the game. And after the uninstall, you can go to the game installation folder, delete the game folder, and install the game to C drive. So if the game is installed to other drive like D drive or E drive, try to install the game to C drive and then check. If the game is already installed to C drive, then try to install the game to another SSD. So if you have any other SSD, you can try to install the game to another SSD and then check. So one of the steps shown in this video should help you to run the game successfully on your Windows computer. So that'll be all. Thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel.